Hey everybody, Whitney Labrie here, and it's that time of year again when the fair or carnival comes to town, and that's one of my favorite times of the year. And it always reminds me of one of my favorite childhood movies, Big, starring Tom Hanks. Now if you haven't seen the movie, the premise goes like this. Young Josh Baskins slightly crushes on an older girl. He sees her at the fair, he walks over, he wants to go on the same ride as her. But, unfortunately, he's just a little too short to get on the ride. In the moment of embarrassment, he looks over and he sees the magical Zoltar machine. He makes a wish, and what's the wish? To be big. So today, we're gonna build the Zoltar machine. Now, if I could only figure out how to get out of the Zoltar machine, that would be helpful, yeah. All right, you guys, so I'm really excited about this project and I've wanted to make one for a really, really long time. The base of this project are gonna be these two clear plastic cube containers and only one middle section because these two are gonna to fit together like this. For you miniaturists out there, you probably recognize these because so many miniatures are sold in them. So I'm gonna use ones that I've already had, but you can actually buy these new also if you wanna make this project. So starting with the base of the machine, I'm gonna be using these stir sticks. I'll be cutting them down and gluing them to the sides using a glue called the Ultimate. They should actually call this glue the Awesomest because it is one of the most all-purpose awesome glues I've ever, ever used. And then you can also see here, I've added the top and bottom trim. For the center portion, I'll be adding a wood trim as well, and I'm gonna be using both a popsicle stick and a stir stick, because a popsicle stick is a lot wider, and I like the look it gives to the center portion of this machine, especially when you put them together like this. Now, part of the allure of the Zoltar machine is all the ornate decor, and so I thought it would be really great to paint this rope trim gold and add it to the front. But before I do that, I do want to paint the base in this really pretty color called Ocean Water, and then I'm going to trim it out in this red color called Tomato Red. Now I want to add some sort of ornate centerpiece to the base of the machine and I think that this leftover gold lace trim will do. And you may recognize this from the what we do in the shadows dining room. So most of my materials are, um, you know, from my hoard. And you've probably heard me say in other videos, save your cash and use your stash. And so this is one of those great projects where you can use up a lot of your odds and ends that you may have left over in your craft room. And that's where this gold trim came from. So I'm just cutting it to fit where I think that it'll look the best. All right, and then I'm going to glue the rope trim on and set that aside to dry and we'll get back to it. But in the meantime, let's start working on the top portion. So for the trim on the top, I'm just gonna use some thick cardstock. And if you have the means and tools, this would be a great time to use a laser cutter or a 3D printer and create this cool siding. But cardstock is gonna give the look that I want, it works, and so that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm cutting out three sides to replicate the Zoltar machine, and I'll make a back panel also, but not till the end. And since I want these to all match, I'll be painting them with the same ocean water color that I use for the base. And I'm gonna need to make sure to paint both sides of the cardstock because you can see both sides. <laughs> with the same paper gold trim that I used before, I'm gonna create some ornate detail on the top of the machine. I'm just gonna do a double side of that and then I'll put a piece of cardstock in between just to give it a little bit of a thickness and a sturdiness. Now, one of the main components of the machine is the coin drop that allows the coin to drop into Zoltar's mouth. So I'll be using cardstock again for this and painting it gold. I'll be adding some details using a thin permanent marker. Of course, you could take the next step and maybe use jewelry pieces and that sort of thing if you really want to get detailed with it. That would work too. I'm also adding a piece of red velvet wired ribbon to act as a cool background for Zoltar. And then I printed some Zoltar signs from the internet and I'm gonna be covering them with my leftover car light tint film. This will give this like a really fun glow to the upper part of the machine and it'll be shiny. Now I'm gonna do a nice cleaning of the plastic and get rid of any glue remnants and my fingerprints before I glue down the trim. And then I'll go ahead and glue that down. And then in the corner and in the inside, I will also glue in my little coin drop. And so you can see here that the machine is coming together and you can see what the rope trim looks like on the front too.
Now I say let's get really gaudy with this machine and add some embellishments. Plus I need to have something on the front that looks like a coin slot and an area where the wish card is dispersed. So I'll need something fun for the top of the machine and um, also a couple things that maybe look like wheels because these are the mechanisms on the front of the machine that kind of allow the player to attempt to get that coin into Zoltar's mouth. So I'm gonna use these pieces. And then what I wanna do is distress the machine just a little bit. We know that this type of machine would typically sit outside, being that it's a carnival machine or a fair machine. So I'm gonna take my thin permanent marker and just create a crackle finish in the paint. And then the base, I just want to dirty it up a little bit. I don't want to go overboard, but I'll focus on corners, edges, and anywhere around the embellishments, anywhere that I think like, dirt would accumulate. All right, and there you go. We have a Zoltar machine. Now it does seem to be missing something. I just can't put my finger on. What's that, Tiny Whitney? Oh, no Zoltar. Yeah, duh. We for sure need a Zoltar. I think I've made it pretty clear in other videos I don't make dolls. So I do have this guy here, and I don't think that he would mind if we gave him a little bit of a makeover. He's only gonna be seen from the very top torso and up, so this should be a fun and easy transition. I have this burgundy and teal velvet ribbon, and some gold trim, some rope ribbon, and I also have these feathers and some fake jewelry and little jewels and things I think it would be fun to use also. So first I'm gonna remove whatever this fuzzy little thing is here on his neck. I think maybe it was a bow tie at one time. And then I'm gonna cut this velvet like a little poncho and place it over his head. And I'll be gluing everything down with a glue gun. But you seamstresses out there, I know that you're shaking your head at me right now, so you just do your thing. The rest of us will be done with this in no time and then we'll be on to watching true crime shows, so. I'm just kidding. I'm actually really jealous of you sewing masters out there. So for the hat, I'm just gonna cut down two pieces of the velvet, glue it down, and then wrap the head with that rope trim to kind of give it the appearance of being one piece. I'm kind of just making this up as I go, so I'm gonna be adding some details and jewels. I really want him to be fun to look at. And then I also cut a tiny little feather to put on the front of his hat, and I added a little bit of jewels there too. Now for the beard and stash. Basically, I'm just gonna take my permanent marker here and just draw in a beard and stash, but you could also use a wig kit here and add a little bit of real beard so it would look like real hair, and I think that that would be awesome too. So for you overachievers, I say go for it. Now these are pretty cool LED lights that Michaels now sells in their miniature area. They're battery operated. They kind of have a, a bright glow to them and I want to warm them up a little bit. So I'll be adding a little bit of my car light tint over it. And then to install Zoltar and hide the base of the light, I just use my Dremel and I cut out a piece of the base so that I could just fit them both in. So the Zoltar machine in big doesn't have a crystal ball, but of course if you wanted one or wanted to make this into more of a gypsy type of machine, you definitely could do that. All right, you guys, and there you have it, a Zoltar machine. I knew this would happen, Tiny Whitney. Now you get away from that machine right now. Don't make any... Great, you already made your wish. Now what scale are you? You look like Barbie scale. Did you do this because of that Timu package that you bought and everything came in the wrong scale? Well, you better just change yourself back right now. Yes, do it. Don't argue with me. Just do it. Make your wish. All right, that's better. I don't have anything for you in that other scale anyways. 
I'm in love, but you guys, you know I'm biased. So let me know what you think. Is this something that you might make for yourself? Have you made something like this before? Tell me all about it in the comments. I definitely want to hear from you. Also, don't forget to share this video and subscribe because all those things definitely help my channel grow. I have another fair carnival related video coming your way, so keep your eye out for that. And for those of you viewers that are missing my What's New Wednesday haul shows, I do have one coming soon, so look for that as well. And I really thank you so much, everybody, for being here and hanging out with me. It means so much. I want you to have a great, great weekend. And remember, in this crazy life, it is the little things that matter.